Hey guys, welcome to week 9 of the builds. This week we're going to finish preparing this hole to apply some primer. And that includes opening the center case slot, creating that sharp edge by the transom, finish some sanding I still have to do here, not much, and then hopefully I can apply the primer. I'm not sure curing times will allow me to um, still paint the hull, but we'll see how it goes. First, let's tackle this edge. I actually started doing this last week, but I forgot to edit in last um, week's video. But take a look. Okay, this edge now. On a sailing boat, this edge here should be as sharp as possible. So the water just leaves the hull straight away. Uh, in this case, it had to be rounded off so I could put the glass cloth and the thing would not make any bubbles or just lift off. So uh, now it's around, although not as much as on the sides, but it's still round. But I'm going to try to do something about this. This is just epoxy with microfibers. If I had ground fiber, I would use ground fiber because it's harder, but microfibers are quite hard as well. Don't use microspheres or micro balloons in particular are bad. So this is now dry, of course, and hard. Okay, not exactly perfect, but a lot better than the round. I finally had my router delivered, so I'm going to open this center case slot. I've had a few questions uh, how this bit works, how does it know where to cut. So I'm going to show you in a scrap bit of plywood there. Okay, so I've got this scrap plywood nailed to this board and I, I want to trim this flush with the, with the wood, with the board. For that I need a special bit for the router. This is the bit. You can see it has a, a roller bearing there that will use the piece of wood as um, a guide and then there's two blades here that will trim the plywood. Basically it will be something like that. Okay, let's see how this works. As you can see, it's flush with the timber. There you go, now let's open the center case slot. I've got my center case slot uh, marked here. I used the four little holes I put on the bottom, bottom panel before I glued the center case as a guide. So I know the center case slot is here. Now I'm gonna open a hole and then I use the router to go around it and cut this. Okay, I think I need to get that deeper because there's some um, resin here and doesn't allow the, that roller bearing to get to the plywood. So going further down, I guess.
Okay, and that's the so-called scary bit done. <laughs> Don't round these edges. This is supposed to be sharp. Now I will grab um, a brush and some epoxy and I'm gonna soak the end grain here on the plywood. If you don't have a router, don't worry. Uh, I will open the other slot on the mid seat once I turn the boat upside down using a jigsaw and a file or a rasp so you can see how I do it. If you still see some resin here, you can always use a file, but do this first. Give it two or three wraps of electrical tape. That way you can use it and this will never scratch the inside of the center case. Now I need to get rid of this glossy bit here. So I'm gonna use some scotch brine. Now I need to score the epoxy here on the gunnels so I can apply the primer. Okay, I'm done with sanding, scoring, whatever. And remember, next time the missus asks you to do the dishes and you start complaining, <laughs> it could be a lot worse. You could be doing a halt. <laughs> okay, now we'll apply some epoxy to the plywood edges. Make sure you don't leave any drips in there because if there's a big blob of um, epoxy there that won't work too well with, um, with the centerboard. Okay, I will let it soak now and then I'll come back two, three, four times until I see that's not absorbing any more epoxy. While the putty and epoxy dry I'm going to start working on the blanks for the foils. This is white spruce and this is hardwood I ripped from an old table frame, like that. Just put it through my uh, table saw. I got these little strips. So I didn't buy any of these. These are leftovers from uh, the Goat Island skiff build. And this, of course, I got it from the bin. Okay, let's start by wetting the gluing surfaces.
that's hard foam if you're wondering why so they can press all the boards because they might be at different heights because they're slightly different thicknesses if you just put a straight edge there you will only press some of them against the table this way I hope I can press more of them or all of them against the table Okay, now I just have to wait for this to dry. And while I do that, I'm going to take care of the rudder box. Now I've got here the two halves of the rudder box. They both marked top and top, so I know I've, I've got them in the right position. And now I need to, this is the spacer already coated as well on the inside. Now I need to glue this like this. It's going to give a light sanding on the gluing surface. And since I'm taking care of the rudder, I guess I can start the tiller as well. Okay, this, this will be part of the tiller, two little strips. And I need to coat the inside first. Okay, back to the tiller, another coat, this is only the faces that are going to be inside, so I can't coat them later, or I could, but it's a lot easier if we do it now. So another coat, okay, I also have the piece of plywood that's going to go under the end of the tiller to prevent the glued strips from splitting and a small spacer to give it the same width as the rudder box. Get as much epoxy as possible on the tops, on the end grain. The rudder is 210. And we need this spacer to go 210 plus 100, so that's 310. 310. So that will be something like this. It's a bit bigger, but. Thank you. 
Okay, I've got a spacer here, a scrap of um, plywood that I'm going to use to force the tiller to dry at um, in the right position. Okay, this is Ampol's light primer. It's a two pot primer and this kit costs 50, 52 euros, I think. Uh, and it's 500 ml paint, 250 ml curing agent. I'll be mixing this using the mixing cup. That's a two to one, so Let's say to the five there, primer, and then the rest to the next five, that's curing agent. Okay, I wanted to use some thinner on the primer, but I bought I brought the wrong can from the from my cruiser. This is the thinner for the white paint that I'm gonna use next. So I had to apply this without any thinning, which is a pain actually. Didn't go that well, but it is what it is. Okay, that didn't go too well. Um, not only didn't I have the proper thinner, so it was harder to roll this, the foam rollers kept breaking, and I used this handle with the foam rollers to coat the panels with epoxy, and now there was leftovers of epoxy here. They're just, look, flaking. And I've got bits of epoxy spread all over the bottom there's nothing i can do about that now i'll just have to let it dry and address it later and the day was going so well <laughs> now this is dry there's plenty of uh, rubbish on the surface so i'm gonna give it a quick sanding with 120 just light sanding i'm not looking to make this perfect i just want to get rid of the rubbish that's on the surface Okay, that's done. Far from perfect, but I think that, that's it. Um, you could actually use another coat, but to be honest, at 50 euros a can, <laughs> nope. Next, paint. Ample, again, two pot paint. And that's uh, four to one, I believe. Okay, since the foam rollers didn't work too well yesterday, because they just broke in pieces, I found these, these very short hairs. Never seen them before. I'm gonna try this one, see if they don't work. I have the, the other short hair ones as well. I think these are nap something. But I'll give it a go. This time I actually have the proper thinner and I'm going to thin that at about 5%. OK, 
okay guys every like every 10 minutes I'll add a little cup this paint is high gloss they didn't have the mat in stock so I just went ahead and bought this one but this will show every single imperfection on this hull starting with this here that I should have fared to be honest it's a scrape with the sander but it is what it is I'm not going to waste another day because of that And that's that guys <laughs> First coat done Should have put more thinner halfway through because I can see the marks here from the roller That means it was getting too thick already The same there Right guys, I did not manage to get back in the workshop to do anything else this week uh, So that's all I've done Next week I will turn it around, put the stiffeners on the bottom, on the inside The reinforcement on the transom for the gudgeons, which I haven't done yet and I should have done uh, already uh, And then I'll do all the rounds on all the sharp edges, uh, apply epoxy, primer paint and I'm not sure if I'll have time to start the varnishing on the cockpit but we'll have to wait and see stay safe and I'll see you soon